Chapter 13 A Shelter So High A Traveler's Tale Through this chapter, a traveler tells about his amazing journey on the highest road in India which took two months to travel on his loner, which is his motorcycle. Let's see what he says. Gaurav Jain and his motorcycle wait for a chance to get away from the busy, crowded and noisy streets of Mumbai. They like to travel to different parts of the wonderful country. This journey took about two months. He had to carry everything on his motorcycle and collect all the things that he needed like small tent, sleeping bag, plastic sheet, warm clothes and food that would remain fresh for some days. Also, he took camera and extra cans for petrol. Lona and he left Mumbai, passing through small villages and towns of Maharashtra, Gujarat and Rajasthan to reach Delhi. It took three days to cover 1,400 kilometers from Mumbai to Delhi. Delhi looked just like Mumbai. Same kind of houses made of cement, bricks, glass and street. He was excited to see wooden houses, houses with sloping roofs and those covered in snow. He packed more things in Delhi and continued. In two days, he was in Manali. Manali is a town situated in Himachal Pradesh. Now, he planned to travel through different routes of the state of Jammu and Kashmir to reach Leh in Ladakh. The Ladakh capital city of Leh lies near the eastern parts of Jammu and Kashmir. To reach from Mumbai to Kashmir, we pass through places like Maharashtra, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh and finally Jammu and Kashmir. Luna and Gaurav Jani were covering long distances each day. All they needed was food and a tent to protect from the cold night air. The nylon tent was so small that they could just about fit into sleep. At last, Lona and he reached Leh and for the first time they saw such an area high, dry and flight called a cold desert. Ladakh gets very little rainfall. There are snow crab mountains and a cold flat ground. He found Leh to be quite street with beautiful white houses. In Leh, he visited Tashi's house. It was a building with two floors. The house was made up of stone which were kept one over the other. The walls were coated with a thick layer of mud and lime. The house looked like a shed from inside with a lot of hay stored there. The ground floor is for animals and for storing necessary things. And they had no windows. Thick tree trunk were used to make the strong roofs. On roofs, there were some chilies laid out to dry and some there were orange pumpkins and gold yellow corn. Some had stacks of paddy and some cow dung cake were laid out to dry. And Tashi said that this is the most important part of their house as during summer season they dry many fruits and vegetables, they store them for winter and they do not get fresh fruits and vegetables. Then he started moving towards the rocky plains of Changthang. This place is at a height of almost 5000 meters. It is so high that it is difficult to breathe normally. He kept wandering in this area with not a single human being in sight. No petrol pumps, no mechanics only clear blue sky and many beautiful lakes around. 
Then he came to know about the Changpa. The Changpa. The Changpa are tribe living on the mountains. The Changpa tribe has only about 5000 people. The Changpas are always on the move with their goats and sheep. It is from these that they get all they need milk meat skin for tents and wool for coats and sweaters the coats are their only treasure from these special coats they get wool for making the world famous pashmina wool it is believed that a pashmina shawl is as warm as six sweaters it is very thin yet very warm the goats from which the soft pashmina wool is collected are found on very high altitudes of 5000 meters a coat of warm hair grows on the goat's body which protects it from extreme cold the goat shed some of the hair in summer this hair is so fine that six of these would be as thick as one hair of yours so they stay high up on the mountains and it's very difficult condition because that is where the goats can live. This is their life and their livelihood. The Champas carry everything that they own on their horses and yaks. It takes them only two and a half hours to pack everything and move ahead. Rebo. Rebo is a big cone shaped tent made of yak hair cloth. Yak hair is woven to make stripes which are stitched together. These are strong and warm and protect them from the icy strong winds. The stripes were tightly tied with nine sticks. The ground is dug about two feet deep. The tent is then put up around this on the higher part of the ground. Rebo was as big as a room. It was held up by two wooden poles in the middle. There was an opening to let out the smoke from the chulha. The tent protected the Changpas from extreme cold. Near the ribo, there was a place to keep sheep and goat. Changpas called this Lekha. Lekha, the walls of Lekha are made up stones. Each family puts a special mark on their own animal. The women and young girls count and take the animals out of the lekha. They count them again every day when they bring them back in the evening. For the Changpas, their animals are a very important part of their life. After reaching there, Gaurav Jani planned for his return journey. He spent few days with the Changpas and now he had planned to move on. He took a different route from Leh. He was going to a Srinagar via Kargil. He saw many more amazing buildings and different houses. He stayed in Srinagar for a few days and was amazed by the houses there. Some houses are on the mountains while some are on the water. Then he came to Jammu. In Jammu, he saw houses like what he has seen in Mumbai. The same cement, brick, steel and glass. The houses are very strong. After a long journey, Lona and he was about to reach Mumbai. He had a wonderful experience of living in the mountains, lay and also living in water in Srinagar. Now let's see few of the pictures taken by Gaurav Jani. Houseboats. Tourists who come to Srinagar love to stay in houseboats. Houseboats can be as long as 80 feet and around 8 to 9 feet wide. Donga. Many families in Srinagar live in a donga. These boats can be seen in Dal Lake and Chelum River. From inside, the donga is just like a house with different rooms. 
खतम बन ब्यूटिफुल कार्विंग ऑन वुड कैन बी सीन ऑन द सीलिंग ऑफ हाउस बोट्स एंड सम बिग हाउसेस दिस डिज़ाइन इज कॉल्ड खतम बन विच हैज अ पैटर्न दैट लुक लाइक अ जिग्स ऑफ पजल In villages of Kashmir houses are made of stone cuts and kept one on top of the other and coated with mud wood is also used the houses have sloping roof some old houses have a special type of window which comes out of the wall this is called dub It has beautiful wood pattern. It is wonderful to sit here and enjoy the view. The old houses here are made of stone, bricks and wood. The doors and windows have beautiful arches. Okay children, that was the end of this chapter. A shelter so high. What we have learned here is about different kinds of shelters in Jammu and Kashmir some on high on mountains some on water some with beautiful designs in wood and stone and some mobile shelter that can even be packed and carried to another place uh, so that's all for this chapter thank you and bye bye